Yo, what up, Basque Deca? My name is Sanj, and today we are back with another video where I'm going to be taking you along with me to last week and all the activities that sort of led up within that week, at least of importance, that is worthy of being documented and filmed and shared. Now, this sort of idea or this style of me breaking in in between comes from the boy Daniel Simmons, so definitely do go check him out if you haven't. I'm sure you all know who he is is the way that I film my vlogs, a lot of the time there is no structure, which works sometimes. However, in this video, it doesn't work so much. So every now and again, you're gonna see me jump in and kind of give you guys a bit more context, a bit more of a breakdown as to what's about to happen. And hopefully that will then make sense. I also want to give a huge, huge shout out to the wonderful people over at Away for sponsoring this video. And we're gonna be talking about them and we're gonna be talking about them in just a minute, but first, allow me to take you suit shopping. The reason why I throw this coat on is because I don't wanna wear anything underneath. And the whole idea is to kind of, whenever you go suit shopping, excuse the mirror. Whenever you go suit shopping, you kind of just wanna be in something super comfortable, but also super easy to take on and off. And these pleats from Isse are so simple with the elasticated waistband. So, I'm already sweating. I don't know if this is what I'm gonna end up wearing, but look at that combo though. What's good with the Kangol and the Prada? A change of mind. I'm gonna pull out my own coat, mother Yeah, that is fire. Okay. I don't know if uh, with this one we need this hot. I'll fix up my hair. Maybe a jumper. Yeah, cause this isn't, and that coat is thick and warm as this one, still warm, but I'll definitely need a jump for this weather because just a t-shirt isn't gonna cut it. But can we take a look and spend a moment to talk about this one for a second? God damn! Colors, Nanushka, yellow. Bro, I'm wearing this. No! Yes. No! It's mine. It's mine, I told you that. Okay, the yellow one was adding a bit too much bulk to the look. So I went with the white one. Cannot go wrong, could do with a steam. And this is the fit for today. The Sanji Vova coat, the Joseph turtleneck, the black Issy, and then the from first Diego's bone skis. Okay, so the first destination and all is the only destination I go to when it comes to suits is to go suit supply. I checked online, they had a bunch of different navy offerings, but when it came to the tux, they only had two. So as soon as I went in, I pretty much told them the situation that I had my best friend's wedding, that we needed to wear a navy tux. And this was actually the only size and model that they had, so that felt perfectly. I love the short collar, I love the way that it fits on me. As you can see, I'm trying on the trousers right now, and they are a bit long, so that was the only thing that we needed to tweak the jacket somehow fits perfectly. Normally I get quite a few alterations done on the jacket, but this time around it was just trousers and I got the legs shortened and tapered. Now when I put the jacket on, it's quite a slim fit and so the trousers needed to match that, which in my opinion, we managed to do quite well. So that was the whole tux right there. And then, yeah. Got all the alterations done. This was gonna take about two days. I went in on Monday, I had to fly on Wednesday and they managed to do everything on time for me. So I was super, super grateful. Okay, so now that's done, I can properly talk to you guys about a way which, let me just grab at least one of them. here. Fantastic. Away suitcases. If you guys follow me on my Insta or my YouTube, you guys would have seen me talk about them. Uh, plenty, these are the only brand of suitcases that I use. Every single time I travel, this is what you see. I'm so thankful for them reaching out just before Christmas so that we can have a sponsored video and you guys could, you know, get your last minute shopping, get some suitcases if you do wish or plan to travel. Now I know that throughout the world, we have some restrictions popping up here and there, especially with the UK. However, should you wish to travel and have the opportunity to do so, and you want to get some amazing suitcases, these bad boys. I mean, I'm only showing one, I've got four, but this one in particular is the Carry On 
in this beautiful aluminium colour. Now you have these coming in a variety of colours and sort of materials ranging from I believe the cheapest one being £235 and then the larger size which is, let me just show you right now, and then the larger size which is this bad boy starting from 305 so very affordable at least in my opinion for some extremely well built suitcases that will stand the test of time so, i mean i've had them for well over four years i've got a collection of now four suitcases all ranging in different sizes they are my travel companion and one thing i love in particular about the aluminium versions are the fact and i know that some people might hate it some people might love it are the fact that you can see all the dents and scratches of the suitcase now you guys know me, especially when it happens to my clothing, I always say that it gives character and I think that translates really well onto the suitcases. Definitely check them out, link will be in the description box down below, plus I believe they do a bundle deal if you buy a bunch of suitcases. To save yourself some coins, get them just before Christmas, should you wish to have any travel plans. Even if you don't have any travel plans in the near future, you can still grab them. One thing I wanna mention before we crack on with the video is one of my personal favorite features about the smaller suitcases, the carry-ons, the ones that you don't have to check in, is the fact that they come in with this removable external charger. Man lifesaver lifesaver so thank you to the wonderful people over at away for sponsoring this video with that being said we're going to carry on with the story we've got the suit or at least we chose the suit it needed a few alterations and this is two days later here we have the final look mirror is a bit dirty but you know we'll have to do We've got the Washington suit in the navy, the Washington tuxedo, size of 40 with a white little pocket square. Shawl collar, it looks absolutely amazing. We've got a tuxedo shirt as well, once again in a size 40. They initially gave me a 41, I was like, bruh, I know I'm thick, but I ain't that thick. And then we are finishing it off with the trousers, again from the tux and the, from the first, Diego's in the fake python. We're gonna have a bow tie, which is actually provided by the groom. So, I was like, let's skip on that, thank you very much. So this is actually suit number one. Dude sold me on a second suit, which looked absolutely banging. And I'm gonna be able to show you that just now. And suit number dos. I don't know if the lighting is gonna do it justice, but neither is this, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, this number, so, so good. It's called the Havana, I believe. It's a double-breasted cord suit that comes in two different colors you've got the green which i'm currently wearing relaxed casual at least for me perhaps due to the fact that it's made out of cord i haven't got them tailored so i'm turning them up a ridiculous bunch but i kind of like the way that it looks it's, it's like i said very casual to be worn somewhat informally but also gives you an added elegance i should say and it looks so much better with all my jewelry and everything so that is a suit number two so we got two suits from Suit Supply. I swear, I come out of Suit Supply and I always think, why don't I dress like this 24 seven? Like how sick would it be to just pull up to everywhere looking like this? Uniformed, looks great. You cannot beat a suit, especially a well-fitting one. That's that, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now we're gonna move on to the packing of everything. But before I do that, I need to go do some groceries. So I do apologize about the lighting. I'm still trying to figure out how I am going to go about filming in this new apartment. I feel like that's one of those clips where this camera would have come in handy, but it's just placing it, finding the right area for it. It's a bit of a struggle, but we'll get there. And then we have some new samples. Now this is one of the things that I would love to be able to share and document and show you guys the journey of a garment. Now, this time round, it was fairly easy because it's two pieces that we've already worked on in the past. We've just kind of tweaked it a tiny bit and have a different color variation. So here's two different pairs of trousers that we're working on. One of them, which is going to be releasing at the end of January. The other one, we still need to tweak it and figure out a good time to release that. Man, beautiful. However, I'm really genuinely torn about what the f I'm doing with this shade of green. It's kind of fire, but does it, is it gonna translate into sales? And this is one of the aspects or elements, sorry, that I should say, about the whole making clothes. Yeah, they're cool, but are they gonna translate into figures and sales? Because yes, fashion is art, but it's also a business. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what to do with the shade of green. It's so, it's beautiful and I love the difference um that you see across the different fabrics that we're using in the trousers but is it too green should i go for a more basic green do you see what i mean 
The green is just, I don't know, there's something about it. Let me show you the other one that we got sent as well in the hand dyed version. Slightly different shade of green I chose for that one. Okay, so this is the other pair. Green's darker, feels a bit more army-ish. You're, you're gonna see them on body, but oh, so f good. We made the leg wider by five centimeters throughout the leg. So this has a much baggier cut and it just looks a bit better, at least in my opinion. Look at these, man. I'm hyped about this. We were planning on releasing the others before, but maybe we should just go ahead and release these because these are something else. They're ready. I know exactly what th this is how I want them to look like, you know, with just some minor, minor details, which you probably won't even notice. Oh my God, I am so hyped about them. They're much wider. They sit better on shoes. They really sort of like puddle over it. This is one I'm fucking buzzing about. When you get samples that are like this, pretty much done and dusted, great day. Great day for everyone. Man, I am so gassed for that second pair of trousers. They're so fun. They're so good. I'm so biased, obviously, but I'm ecstatic for you guys to be able to try it on and um, get your take on it. And from this point, we're gonna be heading over to London, well, Watford in particular, which isn't London, but to anyone outside of the UK, I say London just because it's easier to see my friends, my brothers, my family, my best friends and everyone. And I'm only gonna be able to show you guys like a, not even a glimpse of the wedding, and tiny little bits here and there that was leading up to the wedding itself. You go and give us a little model, bruv. Please. What size did you go for? How tall are you? Are you exposing? <laughs> Simple question. 5'8? Five, 5'8, five, five, eight. Five, eight. Five, eight, yeah. 5'8 eight size medium. Yeah. And that's what your true size would you say? Yeah. Lovely. There you go, 16 and a half, bruv. Clean. Clean, bruv. <laughs> Why are you caressing your belly? It's a bit calm. It's more the arms, isn't it? As long as I don't. How, how tight is the sleeve suit? The sleeve on the jacket, sorry. Because that normally tends to keep the arm. It's a 42 short, so it's literally this is that part. Yeah, you're alive. Oh. Yeah, lovely. 16 and a half done. Yeah. What's 16 and a half saying over there? Bro, what kind of way are you putting a shirt on? Huh? <laughs> How are you putting on a shirt, bro? Like an absolute junk. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Big man like A, agreed to give me a <laughs> on his birthday. So, fuck it. Yeah. Happy birthday, Big A. Thank you for trimming me. But this needs to be sorted out before the wedding, cuz, so. Come on, mate, you're, you are a hero. Providing this sort of, I was gonna say, what's the, what do they call the NHS? Man, this, they call them something, something heroes. But you're in that group of people. Well, okay, maybe not, maybe not doctors. That's the one, saving lives, cuz. Key worker, Key worker, yeah, there we go. But put some respect on doctor's name, though. Don't, don't, <laughs> they ain't done five years of studies, bro, to be. <laughs> Thank you, Amon. And the men's buyer team. Go check him out, Watford. Ask for Amon. If Amon's not available, Callum. He's equally as good, if not better. Mention, mention Sanji for 24 hours. Do you want to say that again, mate, without all that stumbling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mention what? <laughs> mention Sanji for 25 hours. Jeez, okay. <laughs> Approximately 10 hours later. Bruv, I just stepped in the biggest piece of shit I've seen in my whole life, bruv. What a way to start a wedding. I'm there loading my car. I'm like, oh, where's the door? I don't know what door is the right door to get out of this bridal room. I open some next door to step out the thing and there's a massive <laughs> lump of shit 
on my foot and I was like, it looks like a lump of mud. I was like, I don't know what this is. So then I obviously pick up my foot, drag it through the whole hallway of the bastard bridal room. So Ruja's up there getting ready. She's smelling the shit. And I haven't smoked it yet and I was then wiping it all over the gravel. So I don't know if all the guests are just going to step in bare shit. But then I, after dragging my foot, I thought, you know what, I need to smell this. So I took my shoe off, smelled it and was like, yeah, this is shit. Oh, so is this why you were an hour late to come pick me I up? An hour late. I was never getting you a half eight. <laughs> Dickhead, what time? Why'd you tell me that then? Well, Dr. Ruja half eight. I want you to be at mine for half eight. Peace, man. So now I'm driving with one giraffe because I ain't got my shoe on. I left my shoe there, bro. That shoe is done, bro. If anyone pair of black Yeezys, they're done out. They're gone. Well, you're doing TikToks, yeah? Come on, the man's going wider on tonight, bro. Before you listen to the recommendations, which is rare. Beautiful. Churches can't go wrong. British shoemaking at its finest from Northampton. Bellissimo. Worthy of getting married in. Jeez, what are you saying? Come on, cut. It's looking fresh. You can't remember Space Jam. Yes, yes. The young prince. Come on, guys. Go on, show you. Go on. You want to show it? <laughs> Last but certainly not the least, to wrap this video up, I went to visit my boy Daniel Cordas. I think that's how you pronounce your surname. And I... Ooh! I'm gonna just leave it at that. I went to visit Daniel Cordas. Ooh! The Louis V. Unseen, that's the exclusive. The Money Heist. That, that is where it's from, right? Money Heist? Yeah, Money Heist, of and then, But who are they then? Vintage though? LV Duffel. Those are some of the captains, aren't they? Oh, the hostages. You know what? I've only seen the first uh, series. Got so you. To watch it. Bro, you need to update yourself, bro. That Vintage is... LV from Japan. Authenticated. Insane. Steals. That, that's actually mind-blowing. That's <laughs> so good. It, so fucking sick. And then not... One of one, of course. <laughs> Will this ever go for sale? Or no, that's, yeah, that's for the person. For sale, and then some of the other stuff that we've obviously seen across Instagram. I think this one was posted in there. Yeah, Squid Games. Squid Games on the Air Force Ones. That is insane. The Stussy Fossils, I think it's called. How long, Fossil. like on average, would you say each pair takes? So on average, it's about 15 hours. 15 yeah, hours per pair? 15 hours. So like most things are done, for me painting, mm -hmm. like over the course of one or two days, but then obviously at the moment I've been really lucky, so the wait time's like three or four weeks. Yeah. But then, and sometimes more. But then each each pair or bag or something like that usually takes about two days, so 15 hours or something. That is sick. Just yeah. before the boys took the L. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else? This one I've definitely seen online as well. Bro, it's so crazy. Like, obviously they're sneakers, but they are legit pieces of art. Like, even oh, touching custom. that, I was like, yeah, all look custom. Like, yeah. Oh, I haven't seen but this. The this way is. That it suits the bag. Like, obviously we did a few photo shops and things like that. So you plan it out. Yeah. But the way that it suits the bag. Is that like a that normal bag. process that you have with so most people, right? For um, you, most people, you either really choose something that's been done before. Yep. Which is less often, uh, less often. Okay. Uh, or more likely, it's like something completely new. Got you. So then we made like a full Photoshop, put like the placement over the base item, and people will change things around. Like for example, we added the moon. Yeah. And then like thought one looked better. Yeah. We decided to keep the moon, and yeah. then you go for the painting. Yeah. So in theory, it should look, you know. Like, <laughs> but it always looks better. <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks sick. Holy. <laughs> Obviously, all hand painted. Bro! So you got a wearable piece of artwork. Are you fucking kidding? I'm <laughs> trying to like... Oh, yeah, probably be better, right? Bro, that is insane. They look sick on that back. Right? And you were 100% right. It definitely looks a lot better because you can actually see like the strokes and everything. Yeah, 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 100%. That looks sick. Your signature? Hand signed. Oh, oh bro, that is so fucking beautiful. I'm gonna hug you in a fight in like <laughs> five seconds. That's sick. And then we left the other side playing just on a, on a day that we don't want to be. That be is insane. That actually looks sick. I really love that. Woo! <laughs> I'm a wee bow. boys. Yeah, and here is the finished product. Yeah, that's the finished product. Yeah, that's the finished product. And here is the banger in all its glory. Boys, I mean, I'm gonna nerd out and I know I'm being a full weeb. 
but how fucking sick is that? We've got the Elite branding, which is still there, kind of obviously under all that paint, which I'm not too bothered about. I am so thankful for the boy Daniel, of what an incredible work that he did. With that being said, we're gonna conclude this video. Thank you for watching. I wanna say a huge thanks to the wonderful people at OA for sponsoring this video. Sorry, Thank I can't do that. That's rude. Chill out, Siri. And as I mentioned, links will be in the description box down below, so do go check them out if you wish. Don't forget to leave a like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, do all that other jazz because it helps me out tremendously. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's on that side. Yeah, wait, no, it's on this side. Oh my God, bro, I've been doing this for years. How am I still confused? It's on this side, or it's on this side. It's in one of the sides, in the corners. S-A-N-G, this side. Yeah, it's on this side. S-A-N-G-I-E-V, Instagram, Twitter, and any other social media platform that you may find me on. And I think that's pretty much it. Have a beautiful day, take care.